All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha, Bahashim Rakhadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful lake out there pushing this word of truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Pushing to get up out of here. Shout out to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai. And uh, what I want to get into this morning, you know, pretty much just dealing with how, you know, we in such, you know, heavy times. Okay? We are some real. You know, every times as it pertains to prophecy, and everything is spiritual, you know, and orchestrated by Yahweh by Shema Osha. Because as you can see, the closer we get to the Passover, the more chaotic, you know, things are getting, you know, within our individual lives, you know, within the body of Yahweh Osha, and within the world. And what you have is pretty much. Yahweh Shai is setting the stage, okay? Yahweh Shai is setting the stage, all right, for his return, okay? The Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai is setting the stage for the return of Yahweh Shai because I think it was that uh, the new moon, you know? Brothers can fact check me, but I believe it was the new moon around that time when, you know, Russia you know, supposedly invaded, you know, Ukraine, okay? And you've been having that trickle effect, you know, since then. And then, uh, a couple of days ago, you had Iran and those Israelis, you know, they're throwing missiles, okay, and one another over there. You had two senior officers, officers of the uh, Iranian military killed by Israeli airstrike, okay? And one thing about, you know, that tension between them two, they don't do no play fighting, <laughs> okay? They don't do no propaganda when it's with them two, okay? They they get it on. They throw real shots, okay? They they, they put niggas on T-shirts over there when it's with them two. And we know that's going to be the centerpiece of this third world's war. Everything else is pretty much a side act. Okay? You know, China, you know, they, they still rumors about them um, invading Taiwan. And pretty much with Russia going into Ukraine, you know, even though it's surrounded by propaganda, they still, Russia pretty much coming to the doorstep of the EU for the future invasion of the EU nation and NATO nation, man. Okay? But this thing with these Israelis and um, Iran, you see, that thing, when that when they get hot, okay, it's gonna be on, on. And the thing now, we just waiting to see these events play out. You know? Because Iran has suffered loss of major military figures you know, with these proxy wars between them, okay, in the West. You know? And they still vow, you know, vengeance for that. So, things are getting hot. Uh, inflation, you know, uh, gas prices, you know, getting ridiculous. Food getting ridiculous, you know? And then we go into the summertime when people don't want to travel. People gonna be out, you know, people pretty much, you know, it's like they feel of, you know, we back that energy, you know, going into this summer. So these are some heavy times, man. And this Passover feel like, you know, Lord will we endure, man, it feel like we're gonna be protected from some, some heavy some 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 heavy times, man. You know, that's the feel for this Passover, man. That's why. You know, Yahweh by Shema Oshai dealing with the body so direct, you know, to get things in order, okay? As we get ready to go through some intense times, man, but hey, it, it, it's scary and exciting, man, you know? 
when you're scary in the sight, it's scary to understand that we have to stay on point. Okay? We have to stay on point. And it's exciting to see the power that you have about your mouth shot from the display in the earth, man. You know? Because there's no doubt in my mind that he's about to show out, man. Okay? And when you look at the script of our enemies carnally, okay? And the strength of Israel carnally, and how about Shemal Shai? He has to balance that out. And that's a huge gap. <laughs> you see? That's going to take major power, man. Major power, all right, to balance it out to the point where we got the upper hand. You know? But it's going to happen is real. You see? How about Shemal Shah said he was going to make a preacher a weapon? See, we in them times, man. That are my battle axe. <laughs> you see? We in them times. Okay? They, uh, we shall eat what, what they shall starve, man. We shall drink what they shall thirst. We should be in, we should be in joy. <clears throat> and they shall howl for sorrow. We in them times, man. Every time it's coming to the earth, man. And we're in the beginning of sorrow. This thing is just getting revved up. You know? Two more days, all right, to the Passover. And, 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 and it's high, and it's high energy in the spirit, man. And the spirit is real high energy right now, you know? I know you brothers feel it, man. And we pray, you know, to be passed over from the judgment, man. We pray to be within the, within the house, okay? We pray to stay within this house, man. All right? It ain't time for us to be simple, okay? Proud, you know, emotional, okay? And we have to monitor, monitor those things, man. This is time... A real heavy self-examination and being honest, man. Okay? And making the adjust judgments off the assessment. You know? But that was pretty much the point. You know, just wanted to put that out. You know, as I was looking at different things, you know, the elder the elder brother Karatazat from um GMS Vegas. Okay, he went in two the little ordeal, you know, the ordeal with Iran and those Israelis. And as people focus on, you know, Russia and Ukraine, that's, re that's pretty much, you know, the least of the flock going to draw them out. Okay, we can't forget about, you know, them bastards <laughs> over there in our land, man. You know, keep a close eye on them guys, you see. So Lord will, you brothers and you future sisters edify until next time I say shalom.